Eat shit, you ass! Instead of worrying about shooting straight forward, I'm just gonna uh, shoot him with my ass. Yippee! Snackers gets dessert, too. Here's your dessert. Bitch. The Arms is in the house, baby, and welcome back once again to my next episode of VGR Let's Play. Okay, so, here's a little fun fact you should know about. Oh fuck, Kazoo, you're a bitch! Well, besides the little easter egg I'm gonna show off right now. If you end up resetting the game entirely, your life counter you collected goes back to the normal count, up to three. Which I find bullshit. So, uh, so make sure you don't reset the game entirely, if otherwise you're gonna be losing all your life counts. I'm only gonna do it once, just to show off the, uh, bad ending if you quit the game. Also, can you hit me in the head one more time, Kazooie? I dare you to. Cause look what happens if uh, Kazooie hits him the second time. Jesus Christ! I was not paying attention to her dialogue, cause I was paying attention to Kazooie. Alright, so I'm gonna talk to you very shortly. Give me a sec. I'm gonna go talk, go over here, and play some puzzles right here. To reveal the ball pieces of that you already put it down, just press the right stick on down. And once you, uh, once the picture is complete, the pieces are stuck there, apparently. So if you want to take the uh, pieces out before before you want to put any more and stuff, then just uh, do that entirely. Treasure Troll Cold, baby! And also, who the hell are you? Hello there, young ones. I'm Gratilda. Gratilda's nicer sister. I creeped, I crept down here to help you defeat that old hag. It's about time uh, she was uh, taught a lesson. I know all of Gretchen's uh, dirty secret, disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you all th three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fairy fate. First back you like to hear them. Oh yeah, you really do need to talk to her. She's very crucial to this game. Cause there is a certain game, uh, once you get to the top and beat all the stages and stuff, there is a fucking war game you had to get uh, participate in order to beat the game. So, let's hear one of her three disgusting secrets. Crunchy brushes her uh, rotten teeth with moldy cheese with flavor to a uh, toothpaste. That's nasty. Like I said, like on the last episode, when it comes to Gruntilda being all beautiful, like, you don't even want to be uh, getting near to her outer beauty, because, like, you never know what she is on the inside. Like, she fucking tastes like moldy tea breath, and all the stuff that you don't... God damn, Kazooie! You're a bitch. And then every time, oh, uh, uh, all the other stuff that you know about her past and stuff, it's really disgusting. Really, 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 really disgusting. Oh my god, it's like, what else can I even talk about that? It's fucking gross how you do that kind of shit. Kazooie, you gonna come out of the bag again the second time? You gonna pop me in the head like the second time? She's you're gonna get suffocated, Kazooie. Trust me. And here she comes. <laughs> that never gets old. She's also washing her hair with engine oil. Yuck! See? And she gets her clothes from, from the trash can. Okay. Thank you for the information. I wish I never knew that, but I have to know this. Very crucial. Trust me, you're gonna be knowing this set. You're gonna be knowing all bunch of it. By the way, I need to come down here and just get this activated. You activated a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. And that's basically your fast travel right here. I'm gonna be finding all of those as well. I can't worry about that one because I don't have the path to allow to do that yet. This is Kasuri's shock jump. I'll just find me and I'll tell you how to use it. Because <laughs> that one right there is also a puzzle, puzzle panel if you want to get to it. Um, what I'm going to do right here is come back to this little spot right here. Come across this little spot and give, activate it. Oh, shortcut route. Go away! 
You've activated the magic code and blah 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 blah. I already know. The last one said that to me earlier. Alright, so we need to get this little all this right here. So let's just find all of them along the way. It's like, I'm not guaranteed to find all of them, but I will find the ones I need necessary in order to get by to progress the story. Your feather friend, buddy! Oh, I, uh, that you're wrong. Useless like a pile of God damn, you bitch. You're considered a bitch. Alright, so let me just come across here real fast. I know I'm going the wrong way on purpose, but I want to try to get this out the way for fast. So, like, I want to try to uh, get this done, try to speed run this game as much as I can, and just try to get these activated before I go any further. Alright, so I'm just trying to jump across here. And this. And jump across that. Jump down here. Booyah. Alright, next we're going to do is try to head back to the area I just came from. Because uh, this also where Bruntilla is going to be located as well, you know, if you learn more about Bruntilla's secrets. Because you really want to know all about Bruntilla's dirty secret, even though it disgusts you, but you're going to need to. Bruntilla's first a flea circus under uh, that uh, repulsive dress first. A flea circus. That's disgusting. She's also got this nasty pet whose name is Big Knacker. Big Knacker? My sister saves her own band. Grunty and the a monster mob. They're awful! I can't blame for that. Whee! I'm a bad feather! I have Kasumi fly! Well, she knows how! And we're gonna get this activated. And I'm gonna get that route uh, activated as soon as possible. This is what another uh, puzzle panel is gonna be located at. Cause like, I wanna try to get this down as fast as I can uh, by doing this uh, all the quick ways possible. Hey, yes, I'm playing on the same day because he already knows me wearing the same shirt, so I'm gonna try to beat this game on one day so I can get this done and over with. So I guess they have time to edit, give me something to do, and then just be done with it. Boba Gump Globe, oh, Boba Globe Swamp. If you want to place all the pieces into the picture, just press the right trigger button. Hey, Banjo! Yeah. Well, fuck you too, bitch. I ain't gonna be talking to you anymore. At least I got that out of the way. Because, like, I really want to get this done over with, so I don't have to worry about searching and then be I'm wasting my extra time for this kind of shit. This is going down and I just played the game. I haven't done my practice run, but I know exactly how to play this game. Very, very, very well. It's like, I know this by heart, so I'm really familiar with the series. So those of you who are watching this game, and those who are veterans of the series, you have nothing to worry about. I'm a veteran too, so don't worry about it. So I'm willing to speedrun this game very well. Very much, and I'm willing to explain this thing out to you guys as best as possible. Alright, so let's just get on over to this next area. And we can just jump on down to the next route. I would love to go down there and stuff. But I ain't gonna worry about that right now, because I don't have no puzzle panel down there. Because that's where uh, uh, Jake is gonna be located, but I don't have anything down below to worry about that, so... Nothing to worry. Alright, we're gonna enter Treasure Trove Cove right over here. And down we go. I like to play Super Mario 64 for the channel, and what I'm planning to do is, uh... Oh, hold it there! There must just be Treasure Trove Cove! That would be two moves moves uh, uh, for you to, to sharp. And also, uh, the thing is, there's a little code that you can activate that. But you don't have to worry about doing that at all. No, uh, because like, what happens is if you do a stop and swap for the game, and for playing Banjo-Kazooie, or actually rather, if you have Banjo-Tooie, along with uh, Banjo-Kazooie uh, Nuts and Bolts and such, oh shit, Snackers Lyle smells tasty dinner. Just stay there, fuck you. I forgot about that, Snacker. He's an asshole. Eat shit, you ass! Instead of worrying about shooting straight forward, I'm just gonna uh, shoot him with my ass. Yippee, Snackers gets dessert, too. Here's your dessert. Bitch. You wanna eat me? I'll uh, make you eat dessert. Eat shit. That was your dessert. Okay. There's another Snacker on the left I wanna go after. Oh fuck. Get out of my way, you piece of- You motherfucker. Alright, fine, have it your way. Die! You're lucky I can't eat you. I can eat your remains, but I can't eat you entirely. So what I'm gonna do is come over here, attract this shark over this little spot right here. 
Oh wait, that's oh elsewhere. Never mind. Um, so that's that. Anyways, I was saying, um, I want to play Super Mario 64 from my channel for the N64 system, and probably on the Nintendo DS system as well. Like, I'm gonna try to collect every single uh, the um, uh, every what was it again? Every single Power Star in the game in order for you to uh, beat it for 100. percent Hey, this Nippers Beach. You find nothing without Nippers' help. Help us and get the crustacean brain! Grr, cheeky bird needs a feather clipping. Oh yeah! Just try it! I'm just shot head! All you have to do is fucking wait and just kick his ass. It's not that hard. I don't know why people have a hard time playing this game or fighting against him. It's like, you gotta have to be patient every once in a while. And that's it. It's like, there are like some people out there who just don't know how to uh, do things the easy way. It's like, you gotta be patient with the enemy and also you just gonna get your ass beat. Anyways, that's all I was saying about the Super Mario 64 subject. I wanna play the game for the channel to collect every single star so all uh, the game has to offer. Snacker. Oh, cheese and crackers. Just all, oh, all, oh, oh, wait there. Fuck you. Okay, that takes care of him. Now I can just go after this a little on and punk on piece right here. Because every time I see that shark, always that always making me shit. All the time. Because he's nothing but a piece of shit to me. Again, there are people in the world I saw, saw the less way, just like to make it harder on himself. I just don't understand why people do that. People just like to make things so hard that they just don't know how to think properly. It drives me nuts! So I just like to play the game and show you guys how I do it. The Armster way. I am the Arm- I am the master. That's why I'm known as the Armster. Ah, shit. Ow. Okay, fuck. Okay, once you get that taken care of, go out to this. Alright, got our first puzzle in this world. Let's just get the hell out of here. <clears throat> oh, okay, so. It's actually pretty funny how the game tells it random jokes and stuff like towards each other for random insults and such. It's actually pretty funny. Most likely because they do all the insults and stuff. It's actually fun, fun to watch. Um, I don't need to worry about that right now. By the way, here's one of the rudest pirates of all time! Why is so rude, you ask? This is why. Goddamn! Ahoy there! I'm Captain Blubber, and I lost me treasure when we ship off trash. Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts! Uh, but I can't swim! Can you help an old sea, old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. Who the hell hurt a pirate who can't fucking swim? This is as insulting as seeing one of our Navy crew don't know how to fucking swim in the Marines. Yeah, that's basically an insult right there if you see something like that. Like a fucking Pearl Harbor movie. You ever seen that? You like one of the fucking uh, actors saying, I can't swim! Dude, learn to swim. I understand people have aquaphobia and shit. Only there, I'd be blubbers on a treasure. I understand that people have the aquaphobia and such, but, uh, why join the Marines if you don't know how to swim? Cause like you never know that your ship is gonna crash down on an enemy's attack, and all of a sudden you're forced to swim on uh, on the water. And if you don't know how to swim, you're pretty much gonna dead. That's basically I'll be stating the fact right there. I'm not, I'm not trying to insult anybody. So I'm just stating the fact. Cause I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys actually agree with me that say like, why would a Marine be gonna get near to the ocean water if you don't know how to swim? Again, I understand that they have aquaphobia or uh, there's some things they gotta learn, but seriously, you gotta learn how to swim and get over that aquaphobia thing if you can be joining a marine. It's like the thing, uh, you wanna join the Air Force, you had a fear of heights. That makes no fucking sense. Alright, then we just gather about these and get these feathers and go talk to the uh, bottles real fast. Quick crime, blubber cut. This is your true chest, big chest, chicken leg. It's time for you to fly. Alas, it's better. It better be uh, worth it. It's simple enough for you to all, uh, uh, for you, bird brain. Just tell them to just uh, fly disc and press A. Let's try to find a treasure to help you into the air. See you. So you be gathering up to um uh, fifty feathers in order for you to uh, uh to fly. 
But you can get some extra run along the way and later in the future. Here, Blubber Guy, here's your gold. Me treasure! Thank you, me hearties! Take this reward! I'm off down to spin! 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 Isn't that worth the case? Every time you have a huge amount of money, also you spend shit tons of money. It's hard to resist, though, sometimes. The set that you really want for the man and object and stuff, also you didn't get it. It's trying not to be too materialistic, otherwise you'd be spending everything like an idiot. It happens to the best of us, though. Okay, so, now I'll get that old Navy joke aside and shit, let's just get this shit out the way. And then we got out the, the rest of the notes. And get the last of this all ability right here. You gotta watch out for the seashell by, uh, by the clown. You gotta watch out for that thing, because otherwise you can like, take your, all uh, your egg and sh uh, feather. You must do highs with my new shark pad spring! Just because you do it, my legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Ha oh, ha! Simply stand on the circle on jump on this, then on press and hold the A button. That's going. You learn all the codes of the move. So that's basically how you do it. You can do it on the pad or off the pad. You don't have to worry about doing it on the pad and stuff. So let's just get this out the way. Lee Ziggy, no good of waters. No good for waters. Can Barrett all block up the hole? Leaky passed up. Now empty water for bear. Why? Untie go out to this. Get this out the way. I'm gonna go back to the spot where I got my abilities from oh, shortly. Cause like, like I said, this is all uh, code you could do inside here in order to activate that all uh, the water that rises up. Hey. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win the prize. Hey, at least you know the rhyme. Anyway, like, these panels right here, this, all these notes, you have to uh, activate it by pressing the word by accordingly in order for you to make it work. It's a long one, though. I ain't gonna do it. Personally, I'm not gonna do that entirely. So, what you wanna do for this puzzle is hit that Banjo Kazooie uh, uh, word. That's all you gotta do. And you're given a time limit as well. Let's try to get this in, put this in right here. Put this here. Where's the K? Where's the fucking K? Where's the K? Where's the K? Where's the K? Ah, yeah, here we are. Okay, come over here, hit the A, Z, double O. And now uh, you can't hit the same O's at the same time, you have to hit the one separately. Where is it? There it is. Azui. M and an E. Say your name after the instruments. The gate's open to reveal the, uh, the prize. But first, I'll, I'll cut you down, down to size. Go fuck yourself. Trying to attack me, you can get hurt. Alright, so let's just head over to the next area right here. Oh, Christ almighty. Oh, so, again, if you hit the uh, code exactly just to make the uh, tower rise and shit, uh, secret reveal, you get that open. Call for your mint, I'll be right over. Fuck. I always like to shit on him, cause it's fuck him. Alright. Let's head down to the next area here, get this trophy. And no, I'm not going to reset the game again in order for you to, uh, to show off that little ending. Here's a little interesting fact about this. This right here is where you find your secret eggs all uh, mission. Like, originally in the N64 version, this is what the thing called Stop and Swap. In other words, there was a device that was supposed to be going along with the N64 in order for you to make a Stop and Swap uh, uh, work properly. However, the... Um, the cell didn't uh, go so well for the product to go along with the pr transition, like, what they want to do is, in order to do the stop and swap, you have to, um, uh, take the cartridge out, uh, for the ne next up to 10 seconds, before the 10 seconds up, in order to put the game Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, that's the sequel to Banjo-Kazooie's game, uh, up along the way. And this is where you find your egg, in order for you to do a stop and swap thing. 
And for fortunate for me, I already got all that. And this is what a soft and swap looks like if you uh, were to get get it. Yeah, this is it. You get all six of the color eggs along with a uh, crystal key. I showed all the location where they be at. So I won't worry about that entirely. I'm gonna be showing all the location. Ah, oh, fuck me. This motherfucker again. Get out of here! I used to be scary when I was a kid, but I say, go fuck yourself. Alright, so I'm gonna head back to the upper section and just I'll be on my way. Alright, so. What the? Alright, I'm gonna come over here. The music in this game is actually pretty cool to listen to as well. Uh, they're actually unique in their own way. So I ain't gonna be worried about doing no off flight yet. What I'm gonna do is just try to collect all the notes in uh, on on the ground, and then later on I'll just try to uh, do the flight section later on. I gotta watch where I'm stepping, cause like, otherwise I can just fall off the, uh, the edge real easily if I'm not careful. Also, there's some music notes right here. I can't I can't forget about that, cause I remember doing that last time, and I was like wondering where the fuck they're at. And uh, in case you guys have wondered, Banjo can't grab on a ledge until the seagull comes out. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Because, like, Banjo can't literally grab on a ledge. Like, here, here's the example. I grab the corner. Nothing. In case you, uh, those who've never played are going to be criticizing, saying, Why aren't you grabbing a ledge? There you go. I gave you the answer. I just like to be a smartest and stuff smart ass as I'd like to be a smart ass to me. <laughs> I'm, for, I'm for real talk, though. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Eggs, eggs, and more eggs. I could go for some scrumber eggs right now, to be honest. That's actually pretty good. The only thing that sucks about the eggs is like, they taste good, is it good for your body, but the aftertaste or the after smell is awful. I hate that. I'm gonna ignore the mind and just go fuck themselves. Shit, let me just get that. Be on my way. I'm grab a rest of the, uh, the rest of the feather. Because why not? It's a collectathon. That's shit. Alright, let me get the rest of the nose right here. Oh, go fuck yourself! Ow! Fuck you! And now some of the guys are typing down Animal abuse! Animal abuse! Uh, what the hell? I'm an animal too. I'm a bear. What the hell do you expect? It's basically the survivor of the fittest. If you don't kill each other, then uh, you're gonna. If you don't kill the one who wants to kill you, then you're dead. It's the law of the uh, of uh, animal uh, kingdom, apparently. Well, considering I'm an anthropomorphic bear, it says that it doesn't uh, uh, bother me doing it. When it comes to a human doing it, then they should think that's animal cruelty, Arnster. You do nothing but animal cruelty act. I don't give a fuck. This is a fucking uh, uh, anthropomorphic uh, bear I'm dealing with, so that's not my problem. So what I'm gonna do right now is just head down here and just I'll uh, fucking I'll uh, get this next jiggy right here. Yeah, this jiggy's right here. Let's swim out of here. And it's getting me the fuck out of this water. Alright, let's get these notes. Get this moment token. I'm gonna worry about that little edge over there you see in the corner right there. Ow. And also watch out for the teeth spell because like they hurt a lot. It's like you're doing with fangs in there. All right, so let's just try to get this out the way. You know what? Why even bother doing that? I can just get it this way. All right, let's just come out here. Oh fuck! Get that. And just be on my way. Okay. Uh. Come over here. Well, I'm not gonna fall down in the water because otherwise I'm gonna be doing all snacky down there. Or snacker, I don't give a fuck his name. He's a piece of shit shark. Eat that! There you go. Thank you! Oh shit, 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 hold on. Come over here. And be safe about it. Personally, when I think about Bandit Kazooie, uh, for me, it's one of the best platformer games that's ever made. I mean, it's debatable for the, um, uh, for the t uh, sequel for the game, because, like, the game, that game is fucking long. It is legitimately longer than this one. I mean, not in a good way. It's like, it's just, like, 
It's just like overstayed his welcome. I'll show you what he mean if I decided to, uh, to play this game for this channel. I would do it. But other than that, I'm not gonna be even worried about that right now. I want to play this game first. Cause I know some of you guys are gonna be asking me on the comments saying, "Play the uh, Bandit Two Your Arms, sir." Oh shit! 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 Ow! Mmm, lovely. Here's something lovely. Shit. Get your ass over here and let me kick your ass with it. Fuck. Get your ass over here. Wanna eat something else? Wanna eat something else? Eat shit. There you are. Um, I'm gonna come across there real fast. I'm gonna I'll cover up the whole island of the lower section and then head to the upper section shortly. Alright, so before I go up to that little spot up there on the ledge, instead of, I'm gonna come across this little section. Oh shit. I don't need to worry about the feather, because I already got enough feather for me to worry about anything. I need to worry about that. Cause like, every time you let that thing attack you and stuff, also he's gonna like, uh, steal your feather and egg by eating it. I heard it the first time, Jinjo. Get out of here, bitch. Ow! Yeah, it's actually pretty funny how you eat it. You like that? Eat this. <laughs> He's basically enjoying his meal for one last time. Alright, let me just get this oh, honeycomb real fast and um, get this moment token. Snack, are you here? Yep. Fuck off! I don't like you. I used to be afraid of that snark all back then. Again, I like uh, when I was a kid. But now that I'm a grown ass man who knows how to play these type of games, I was thinking, fuck them. Fuck those sharks. Cause like, the thing is, I remember seeing some videos of some actual people getting near the shark by out of the cage and shit. Like, great white sharks and shit. I was like saying, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you want to get near the shark that wants to eat you? It's like, oh, but sharks are friendly. Oh, no, 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 no. They're practically predators. I ain't getting near them. Fuck that. If anybody tries to ask me to get near to an actual shark in real life, I was like, fuck you. I'm gonna stay the fuck away from it. Oh, like, I don't want to even say it to my loved ones. I really don't want to say it. But if they force me to say it, I will say it. I will say it. I I'm gonna be real truthful about here. It's like, that's for real talk. Because I am not getting near to a predator that wants to get eat me. Same goes for orcas. Those kill whales. Oh, God, fuck that. I'm not getting near to those guys. Okay. Um, I'll come over here. Oh shit! No, 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 no! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Come over here. Jump on this ledge right here. Ground pound. Fuck you! I right, get the rest of these. Okay, now we got to clear out the lower ground success as we speak. I'm just gonna go over to the uh, spot. Oh shit! Hold on. Thank you. I'm gonna go back to the spot over here to um. That I ignored on purpose so I can get this little uh, mission taken care of. Alright, so let's just get this slide taken care of. I just gotta climb my way up. Anytime, Armster. Anytime. Okay, any moment now. Almost there. There we are. Grab on this bitch. Follow this clues if you're looking for gold. Hey, you didn't even bother rhyming. Neither did you. Fair enough. To fly higher, you need to also red feathers. Press A to use them. But remember, that beacon can only uh, carry 50, fe 50 feather of them. The also turn sharply the arrow by pressing the right or left on bumper. And he ain't getting there. It's basically alpha if you do stuff like that. So press up is go down, press up, I'll uh, press down to go up. That's basically a normal flight control. So I ha honestly had no problem with doing stuff like that. So yeah, I said pressing up goes down, pressing up goes up, up um, pressing down goes up. 
there are some people out there who don't know how to do flight controls. They like to press uh, up or down quite going up or down. So, that's their choice. I still say they're a fucking freak, but that's their choice. Alright. Get that down. Come over here. I can't do any more uh, special move yet with a flight control, so I'm gonna have to work on doing this basic by going as slow as possible. Alright, one more little uh, uh, X right here. Ground pound this little spot. Oh yeah. Ha! You'll never find me now. Or will I? Down there. X marks the spot. Fuck you. Yikes! Please open me gently. Oh, that's, that's the way of being gentle. I'll open you gently, alright? I'll open you gently real good. Like, I just like to double check on my face camera and we're good. Alright. Alright, so. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to the little flight control. But I'm going to the one in between the coals. Your mom, my place. I gotta do a twice, though, actually. One for the jiggy. Oh, I forgot about you. I literally forgot about you. It's gonna be crushing where the fuck is the last one. I literally forgot about you. I'm gonna go to the right later. I'm gonna go to the left first. Ah, oh, shit! No, fuck that noise. This is gonna turn booty. Touch it if you don't dare. I already did. The golden treasure was for me. Now, I'll uh, still uh, uh, the game will be. Ah, fuck you, bitch. I don't even like you. Okay. Come across here. Climb up. One more time. Because you want to use a flight control in order to get up there. And we're going to transmission in order for you to. Oh, not transmission. Transition. In order for you to get to the uh, next upper section. Alright. Now that that's taken care of, I do like the transition effect every time you play this game. It's really cool. Alright, so. There's the last uh, ginger right here. Piece of shit, go away. There's the last ginger. I like it when you get to the higher section, there's like the air. You can hear nothing but air. You've been awarded for a game effect! Lucky you! I already got the look, give me pack. It's basically having ginger around. And I don't want that gamer pack on my Xbox. I really don't. I could get to the upper section if I wanted to, but uh, I'm gonna collect these first. Alright, next I'm gonna come up behind here, hit the switch, boom. And booyah! Okay, now I got that taken care of. Open up. Alright, so let's come across here and get these. Booyah! You found all the notes and blah 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 blah. You know what I'm talking about. Oh shit! Got there. That takes care of that! Go, go. That's actually pretty cool how you did that. Um, You wanna see me die? Ow! Fuck! That hurt. Well, at least I didn't die. I tried. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna get to my next destination and collect the extra honey on comb uh, that I just left behind. And yeah, just be on my way. Let's see here. We gotta do the sand castle. We will be coming back here later in the future. Like, I had to find a certain character in order for me to uh, unlock the uh, secret codes in order for me to extend my extra use of feathers and eggs. So you'll see for yourself. Let me just gather up these. Uh, hold on a sec. Fuck. Go away! Can we just gather up these uh, um, uh, jiggy pieces right here? Shut up! Go away. And then, this, and head on out of here. Alright, so before I end this episode here entirely, I'm just gonna meet you back at the spot um, where my next initiative is gonna be at. 
Alright. And while we're at it, let's just try to get this out the Ah, uh, let's just get this out the way. There you go, Banjo. Good. Good. Come across here. And then head on down. Alright, we're good. We are good. Alright. I'm gonna end this episode here. Cause like I gotta end it with a number 13, because 13 is my personal lucky number and not yours. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I want to see if my face cam is working. Yes, it's working. Thank God for that, because I'm going to be more pissed off than normal. Anyway, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode, because, like, uh, it's like this game is uh, actually a breeze for me, for me to enjoy this gameplay with you guys, because, uh, um, I never double check the time, by the way. Oh, shit, hold on a second. Yeah, it hasn't been too long since I got started this gameplay, it says, because, like, I wanted to make it as interesting as possible to make it as uh, lengthy as possible for you guys to enjoy this video. Instead of just making it too long like I did my other videos and stuff, I'm sorry, but uh, that's basically how I do it sometimes. Like, instead of just me going through all that bullshit, it's like saying, at least I'm trying to show you guys some little presentation, like give you something to watch if you're interested in watching this genre. So I really do hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, enjoy my company for me telling you about how this game works, how the development work, and what they did and stuff. And uh, if you do like the look Location. I will show you all the secret location for all the um, uh, the eggs. The Many tricks are up my sleeve. To save yourself, you better leave. Fuck you, bitch. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. If you do like it, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Share this video if you may like this content. And also hit the notification button if you want to see more of this content in the future. That being said, on the video game crust, and Narcissus says, Catch you on the next episode, baby. Peace.